what is going on everyone welcome back to another review today we're going to be taking a look at the bandai tamashi nation katetsu samurai iron man mach 3 And here is the Bandai Samurai Iron Man out of the packaging, and honestly, it's it's a pretty cool figure. <clears throat> um, shout out to Omega Red Sal. Uh, he posted that he found this at Barnes and Noble for 20 bucks. So uh, my friend actually was down there, and I hit him up, and he was able to find this for me for what was it, 21 something. <clears throat> this is this isn't like my most desired figure. But for 20 bucks, I mean, you can't pass up a $90 figure for 20 bucks. So, um, aesthetically, this figure is pretty cool. It's not major, major cool looking, but <clears throat> I do want to get the Spider-Man one now and the Captain America one, and it's pretty cool to have the uh, Samurai Avengers. Uh, bigger fan of Marvel than I am Star Wars. Um, but let's just take a real close look at this figure, and then this is just gonna be a super quick review. The articulation is pretty good. It's not hindered or anything by the armor because you know it is Bandai. You know, they get those uh, joints. Got double jointed elbows, which is really cool. The ball hinge for the uh, for the wrist. And this is pretty cool that these are his blasters and they actually like uh, they come out on a peg. So that's really cool. Um, the articulation is real good. Head rotates 360. Um, look up that that far down that much and this little chin piece right here is um, adjustable so it's articulated um, so he has his, his um, waist swivel and on his back he has his little jetpack right there yeah it's actually on a ball joint which is pretty cool a sword that goes in there the legs don't kick out too much got that much double joint knees really good really good knee articulation no pivot, but there is a joint in there. Make sure to pivot it. And then there's toe articulation, but it doesn't want to move right now. And the bottom of the feet look really, really cool. Um, Alright, so this figure looks yeah, really cool. It's not the coolest freaking Iron Man, but it's a pretty cool Japanese samurai Iron Man. So the helmet's real cool. It has that chest piece right there. It looks kind of weird from the side, but it has that armor. It's right there. The chin guard looks pretty cool. Details in there. The chest looks really awesome with the with the uh, clouds right there. That's real cool. The abdomen looks good. His uh, swords look really good. The uh, armor looks really good. Pants look good. Legs and everything came out really clean. I really like that <clears throat> Japanese samurai design in it. Really cool looking figure. Really like the way the sheath looks, the armor, the red in the armor came out really cool. I like the silver underneath. The belt looks really cool. And the back the little boosters came out really cool. It's kind of weird because it's it's kind of like steampunk samurai. That's what I gotta say about this. It, it's really steampunky samurai. But alright, that's it. So that's really it. I don't want to go on and on about this figure. Um, I got it at Barnes & Noble for $20. It was a score. Damn cool looking figure. That's really all I gotta say. Uh, please hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think of these figures. Um, if they're worth buying or not. Uh, let me know what you guys would have liked to see from this line. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.